at 12.41 p.m. in the West Garden again today looking for Vanda Spikes. Let me get you this name, if you can see this name. Because I can't get that tag out of there now. That is, that's the best I can do. Alright, just looking around in the, in the leaf axis this morning and came across, if I can do this with one hand, ugh, put up such a fight. Yeah, right there, if you can see that. That is not a root, I hope. They should be spiking. Should be, but you just never know. But we're going to keep an eye on it. Just in case. It looks like a spike. Yeah. I guess I'm just anxious to get my Vanda, my, my Vanda spikes going this season. They're all seedlings and they should be coming into maturity right about now and <sighs> showing me some love. Showing me some Vanda love. Yeah. Put a lot of work into these Vandas and the it's time to pay off. Yeah. All right, so this particular Vanda that I'm hoping that's in spite uh, requires high, very high, 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 high humidity. I was told by those highly educated and their experience with this particular Vanda and that's why I put them in these uh, pails, their own bucket pails. Yeah. If I can get it back in there. Okay, I can't. Let me pause. What in the world is that falling all over the place? Probably a leaf. But yeah. Bad footage, bad footage. <laughs> Okay, I finally got it back in its back in its pot. It's uh, got holes on the, it has holes on the bottom for great drainage. But my focus is uh, out of whack. Really, that's why. There we go. But yeah, I put her back in her. All right, let's see. Get it together in her pot. And uh, for her high humidity. And I guess that's what's generating that spike now. Because she requires very high humidity. You see how these leaves are nice and smooth. And they're not wrinkled at all. She gets her humidity. And this particular vanda required her high humidity. I have several that required very high humidity. And that's why I have them in their little beach pails. They're just sitting in top of the beach pails. No holes on the bottom of course you drain a little spag on the bottom but uh their roots don't touch anything they're just getting that humidity oh my god look at that root on that uh, wrinkle stylus or something it is huge my goodness then you should be giving me some blooms this winter hopefully sorry i digress but yeah i'm hoping uh I got a spike coming. For sure. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a great Vanda growing day. It's a pretty big Vanda.